Real quick tour of the uh, soon-to-be vegetable garden. Uh, it's this proud moment. Uh, we have successfully hoed and laid down landscape mulch, and uh, I've got a few seeds in and a few seedlings. Uh, also, my blueberry bushes, which uh, I got a couple kind of ringing the garden, as well as a couple of rows down here and uh, some up there. Um, about 24 bushes in total are amazing. Look at them. Wow, we're going to have so many berries this year. Oh, it's going to be good. And here we have uh, pineapple guava bushes. They're not blooming yet, but uh, they're looking really um, healthy, sort of. Not yet. There's the chickens. Hi, chickies. Hello, ladies. They're getting ready for bed. Yeah, the sun's down, but I am not done gardening. Uh, little cabbage, row of cabbage seedlings. Hopefully they mature before it gets too hot. And I want to show you all uh, pawpaws. These are an interesting thing. These are, um, I have four trees. Actually, no, they reproduced. Now I have like eight trees. Um, but only, only a few of them are large enough to bear fruit. Uh, anyway, these are interesting things. These are the largest Native American fruit tree. And they are, um, there's a, there's a flower. Uh, they have an interesting reproductive cycle, which I will bore you with for just a minute. Uh, their flowers are not designed to smell good. Their flowers are designed to both look and smell like rotting meat. And then instead of attracting honeybees, uh, they attract flies and they get pollinated by the flies. Whether this is a successful evolutionary strategy or not, um, not really for us to judge, but uh, a lot of flowers and I have to tell you I've seen the flies and if you're asking what they smell like, well here. Phew, ah, a fly just hit me in the face. Damn it. Well, all right, so there's the flower, and I'm going to give it a sniff. Hmm, it's not too bad. Be better with some ginger and chili or something. I don't know. Well, uh, anyway, uh, I've got a row of uh, fig trees that are coming into bloom. Uh, leaf, they don't bloom. Uh, their, their blooms actually, they, they bloom inside out, and the, the fig that we harvest and eat is in fact the flower of the fig, but it's surrounded by the fig's uh, sepals, and then the, the flower matures inside the fig, and it's pollinated by wasps. All kinds of crazy stuff going on out here. Uh, and more crazy stuff going on in the vegetable garden once I get some seeds in. All right, a uh, quick tour is over.